Sheldon, nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. So, Love, how long did it take for you to write this? Uh, Love was, it was in a complete eight year process of making the film, but it was three years of, of writing the screenplay with my writing partner, Justin Wilson. Yeah. What was the, the basis of your story, per se? What was the inspiration behind? Well, it's, you know, I always tell people it's a fictional story that's inspired by a true relationship. And that's a relationship I had when I was a young boy growing up in Baltimore with one of my uncles. Yeah. How were you able to bring together this cast of yours, your dream cast, per se? Um, I always say, you know, write a captivating story. Write something that moves people emotionally. And I'm so fortunate and, and really, truly blessed as the filmmaker to have, you know, Mr from The Color Purple, right. Mr. Danny Glover, you know, a Dennis Haysbert and Megan Good and, and Michael Kenneth Williams and, and this wonderful talent in Michael Rainey Jr. in common, you know, given his breakthrough performance as a leading man, I'm fortunate because they all were emotionally moved by the screenplay and they took this journey with me to tell a story, so. Um, was there any hip hop influence from your, into your movie? Was there any influence from hip hop? Completely, I mean, I always tell people, you know, I. Like, I was in college, my freshman year, writing term papers to Common's music, you know. Um, you know, Like Water for Chocolate, and I mean, Common is hip hop, you know. He is the essence of hip hop, and to see him be an individual who can act so brilliantly, and to be a true fan of hip hop, you know, I say, I, I grew up breakdancing on cardboard in Baltimore to Slick Rick's Lottie Dottie, so to actually be a filmmaker and to have one of the pillars of the hip hop community put it down, I mean, come on, man, <laughs> come on. You guys have had such long, amazing careers. What made you say yes to love? Ah, the script, the story, you know, um, you know, the director and writer. You know, he was uh, he was passionate about it. Uh, I read the script before I met him, so I was already hooked because I said, man, you know, if you can execute this blueprint mm -hmm. the way it's written, and I knowing that we were going to all, I mean, and then I found out that Charles was in it. And then Danny, I said, oh man, we're, you know, this is like, you know, Mingus, Coltrane, and you know, all these guys getting together. If I can be so bold as to put myself in that company. But, you know, you know, it was like, oh man, we get to riff with these guys. I mean, I only wish I had a scene with this man. You know, so it was a lot of fun. But it was also it was also wanting to help out a young African American director. Right. You know, and give him the kind of cast that will spoil him from now on. Yeah, you know, he's going to be totally him. spoiled, yeah. you know, totally spoiled. <laughs> but 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 um but 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 we should be uh, 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 you know, we should be accessible to the young filmmakers coming out, you know, and give them that kind of break because if we don't do it, who's going to do it? You know. Right. So um but but also the you know, the, the camaraderie of it all, you know, I walked away, you know, Danny and I have known each other 30 years and only worked together once in together in a film right. uh, and then you know in this together but no scenes so uh, Dennis and I you know we worked in one movie uh, Random Hearts but we had no scenes so you know I left I've worked with Megan before but I left and said you know we, we you know we got to start doing more of this yes. you know and and uh, so it, it was great it was just great man you mentioned young earlier how were you surprised by Michael's performance in the movie man listen he he, uh, we've been, t what's left to say about this kid? No, <laughs> just, not surprised at all, yeah. but, but just whelmed. Yeah. I won't say overwhelmed, just but I would say whelmed. <laughs> yeah. This man, this young man, yeah. it, he brought it, yeah. you know, and I said, 12 years old. I said, man, how old are you? I said, you're a smirk, you're a midget. Are you, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> man, a little man of the boys. He was a little man child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I said, man, I said, you know. But modest and, and modest, very uh, very down there. You know, just 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 you know, you you, uh, you you talk to him and you talk about acting. But he has already at twelve years old what you really need to have to be a good actor. Right. And and that's honesty. Just pure honesty, looking the other fellow in the eye and telling the truth, from fact to fact. And he has that at twelve years old. When he looks at you and talks to you in a scene, you simply believe him. And the nice thing about that is when you don't have to act. Right, it was just, it just came. You know? Yeah. yeah. With the chemistry. Hi, how you guys doing? How you doing? Good. Being from Chicago, have you seen or do you know the story from 
Oh yeah, I mean definitely know many people that are Vincent or Fish or Woody. Right. You know, I know many people that have been through similar situations and um, you know, that's part of what exists in the inner city, like in Chicago, in Detroit, in, in, in Compton, in, in New York City, like different, any city in America you can go to Baltimore is where you can get, you know, the, the, the story of, of Woody, a young man who, who wants to do good, but his father figure is like feeding him some things that are, that are not going to provide for a good life for him. And um, Michael, you had a time you knew you were working with Common and Charles and yeah. Dennis. Were you at all nervous? No, not at all. I was just excited. You were excited? Yeah, because I get to work with like one of my favorite rappers and like my idols of acting and stuff like that. Have you heard Common rap? Have you heard of course, song? Of course, of course. <laughs> what's, what's your favorite what's Common song? Resurrection. Ah, yeah. uh, you took I, it I back. I think he's going to come up with the part like that. <laughs> <laughs> But a great movie, guys. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate it. Much love. Thank you.